what is up you guys it's moon lust intuitive guidance 1111 and i am back with another video so this is going to be the august zodiac sign for pisces sun moon or rising um or venus or jupiter okay this is all about expansion it's all about love i'm going to start off your reading pisces with a card from the divine circus i was feeling compelled to get one for aries who who i did right before this so i went ahead and got you one too so we got the white duchess okay are you one of those many that are suffering in a dark and stormy inner world of post-traumatic stress? Do you believe that because there has been struggles in your past and perhaps at times even great pain that this is how your future shall be too? Perhaps you have been striving towards a dream and it seems so long since you began that you're losing hope of ever breaking through into success fulfillment in a new life. The White Duchess comes to you with clear guidance. Don't look back. Don't let the past be put to rest. Whatever has haunted your dreams, whatever has caused turmoil, it is over. It is not needed anymore. There is a future destiny calling to you now, Pisces. It is time to transition into a new world, into your new life. Okay, this is you're in the midst of a significant life transition. Okay, you may be aware of this, or it may come as a surprise to you. But this indicates that it is time to let go of the past, even if that means going through a phase of not really knowing who you are, or where you are headed. She will guide you through the transition towards a completely free from past influences, unfettered by issues that trapped you in times gone by. She wipes clean all past contaminants and helps you start afresh, a new life, a new person, a new chance at the life of your dreams. Trust her and believe in the positive power of your future. Wow. Say this aloud three times. Duchess White, Duchess of Light, help me turn away from the night. The past is over. I choose to be free. So begins a new chapter of destiny. Duchess White, Duchess of Light, help me turn away from the night. The past is over. I choose to be free. So begins a new chapter of destiny. Duchess White, Duchess of Light, help me turn away from the night. The past is over. I choose to be free. So begins a new chapter of destiny. Now go and find a door that you can close. If you cannot find one, visualize, imagine, feel, or pretend that you are standing on one side of the door. Stand at that door and say, for this moment only, this door separates my past from my future. Through my own free will, I choose to leave the past behind. Grateful for all that I have learned, forgiving and letting go of what all that has been. I no longer need to hold on. I am free. Step through that door and close it firmly behind you and then say aloud, free from my past. I turn to the light of my fresh start now. So be it. And you have finished your healing magic. Wow. So you feel like you're going through some kind of dark night of the soul. There is a huge transition that's going on in your life right now, Pisces. And it's like, it could be really confusing right now. Like you're not sure what it holds. Okay. But just know Let's see, what does the tea leaf cards have for my Pisces for the month of August? What are Pisces going to be going through in the month of August? Just know that your past does not um, dictate your future. Whatever has happened in the, the past, whatever you've been doing that wasn't working for you, stop doing that. Okay, because that hasn't worked for you. Okay, you're waiting for some kind of news. You could be getting some kind of package. You're like a bird perched, waiting for some kind of news, waiting for some kind of offer. Okay, you're also waiting for that new job and career. Okay, maybe you're trying to find work again. You're trying to find what really makes you passionate. Okay, and you could be in need of some kind of help or assistance or guidance this month. You're going to be getting some kind of hand. Okay, you are, you're on the road to success, but it feels like there could be like a mountain in your way that's getting in the way right now. Yeah, mountains and valleys, okay? You're def with mountain and valley here, you're definitely going through some deep personal strength and peace that assures success, Pisces, okay? You are, you're going through some challenging time, okay? But you will get out of it. All right, let's go ahead and see 
what we have for Pisces. We'll clarify with the Rider weight, And then, of course, we'll get some Oracle cards and do a love portion of your reading. So let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Jupiter, whatever planet you want, okay? Cross watchers are welcome too. What do we have for Pisces spirit for the month of August? What do we have for my Pisces? My Pisces, is that what you call it? My Piscerians? I don't know. My Pisces, what do we have for Pisces? Ooh, you're gonna be particular today, Pisces, huh? What do we have for Pisces? The Queen of Pentacles. So, somebody feels like you're very nurturing, okay? You could be a mother. You could be a wife, okay? Um, or somebody, you feel like somebody's been giving you breadcrumbs, okay? It's like, this is you. You feel like you've always been so nurturing. You've always been so loving. You've always been so supportive. You're always there for people. You're always giving out handouts, right? But you feel like somebody's just taken from you, you know? It's like, you're waiting now for something, okay? It's like, look, you've been, look, I'm telling you, you always give handouts. And now when you need something, where is everybody at? Wow, that's what I feel from you. Where is everybody at? What's crossing this energy? What's crossing this energy for Pisces? Yeah, Pisces, you're tired of giving everybody else handouts and you're not getting nothing. What do we have for Pisces? And you're being very particular today too on what cards come out. What the hell do we have for Pisces? Lord, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So... It seems like somebody lied to you about something. Wow, and we have the Queen of Wands. We have lots of Queen here. Okay, this could be a third-party situation. Just saying. We could be dealing with three Queens. Okay, we will clarify. What was the past energy for Pisces? The Knight of Cups. So somebody wanted a romantic offer. Somebody wanted, you wanted some kind of like proposal, some kind of um, text, some kind of letter. You wanted some kind of news or you got some kind of news, okay? And it's like nothing has happened, okay? It's like you've been avoiding something at this time, okay? And it's like you've been scared to go after anything else because you're still secretly waiting for this offer, okay? You could be needing to start fresh again and you could be stuck. Because you're still waiting for some kind of offer. Okay. Yes. But we have the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Okay. We will clarify. All right. Let's see. What are Pisces hopes right now? What are Pisces hopes about this whole situation? What are Pisces hopes in this situation? Two of Swords in reverse. Wow, you are stressed. Oh my God, now we have a Queen of Cups here. What the hell? This could be a four-party situation. What the hell? Or, wow, you don't know who you are, Pisces. You don't know who you are. Remember, we read. It's like you're feeling like you're going through a moment where you don't know who you are anymore. Are you the Queen of Cups? Are you the Queen of Coins? Are you the Queen of Swords? Are you... Wow interesting so we're just missing what the queen of wands here now but she came out earlier i think wow you have someone has to make a decision who it's just, it's stressing you out it's stressing you out now this just not knowing it's like you're going over everything you're trying to heal yourself again with the two of pentacles and the two of swords you really do you have a decision that you have to make pisces about something Okay, I feel like you have a decision that you have to make about something. Um, mm, the king of coins. So we have a queen of coins and we have a king of coins. When it comes to this king of coins, you're having to make a decision when it comes to something, Pisces. Um, you could have gotten some news recently or maybe, like I said, you were waiting for something that never came. Yeah, with the knight of pentacles here, the slowest moving knight in the deck. Somebody could have taken a long time to give you this offer. Okay, maybe you're starting to think it's never going to come. Clarify the Queen of Coins. Why is the Queen of Coins here for Pisces? Why is the Queen of Coins here for Pisces? Oh, yeah. Look, 
it's like okay so you're like who am i right because when i am you know queen of this person's 3d world all about materials all about values it just makes me feel like i'm trapped okay it's like wanting to get out of that because that lifestyle just makes you feel trapped worrying about money and all your material possessions like yeah you're not about the 3d world okay yeah your inner child's coming out with the page of wands here you want something to direct your passion towards now why is the queen of swords in reverse here why is the queen of swords in reverse so it seems like you know this person is queen of swords in reverse it's like when you're in your queen of swords in reverse, which is about just like kind of like lying to yourself, not being honest. It's like this just makes you feel exhausted. Okay. It gives you low energy. Okay. Yeah. It's like you're healing. Okay. You are. You're healing your heart right now from some inner child wounds. Why is the knight of cups here for Pisces? The star. Yeah. Your hopes and wishes, it's like you have been waiting, I'm telling you, whatever you have been trying to manifest, whatever you have feel like you have earned, whatever this romantic offer is about, this is your wishes and hopes that are going to be fulfilled, Pisces, okay? Find balance, okay? Calm down, it's gonna be okay. Clarify the tower in reverse. Why is the tower in reverse for Pisces? Yeah, the emperor in reverse. So you have some kind of distorted masculine energy around you, okay? And it's like you're trying to, it's like not wanting to like pull the wrong um, Jenga block out and have everything crashing down. You're trying to avoid some kind of situation with this divine masculine energy. Honestly, you're feeling like after everything y'all have been through, you've taken like some kind of like huge uh like risk and you haven't gotten much out of it like maybe you just do a lot and you feel like you haven't really gotten much out of this every after everything you've put through with this could be work could be a relationship friends family clarify the fool in reverse yeah you're cut look now we have the king of swords here it's like, like I said, remember I told you that you were like not wanting to go forward because you didn't know if you were going to get this offer. Yeah. Higher fan, bottom of the deck. Let's see. Clarify this Knight of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Yeah, you are refusing some kind of change. Um, Let's see if the Knight of Wands in reverse has a special message for you. Pisces, let's see, Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone put the brakes on your love life. You're reevaluating your love life right now, okay? It's like whatever you have been expecting of this person, you feel like they haven't changed at all. You feel like that you're you're always bitching about the same thing, or you're always like arguing about the same thing. I don't know. You you feel like this is definitely a deep spiritual connection, but you feel like nothing is changing. Okay, and you do, you want to be with this person, but you feel like there's no balance here. Okay, you feel like something doesn't feel right, and you just, you are, you're like struggling to make a decision about what to do next, and it is, it's keeping you up at night, it's stressing you out, it's putting you in your Queen of Cups in reverse energy, it's like you're trying to be understanding, but this person isn't understanding what you're feeling. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Pisces? Yeah, someone's been giving you breadcrumbs, okay? They haven't been giving you what you need, okay? It's like somebody's been doing, like I said, all the giving, all the taking, okay? It's like... It's like... You could also be feeling like it's hard for you to find work right now. We do have the devil here that could be getting in the middle of your relationships, okay? What is this two of swords about for Pisces? Yeah, the world. You you know that something, look, this situation could be a little bit, um, like I said, not balanced, okay? It's like you're always on the defensive. It's like, what is good this person going to bitch about now, okay? It's like just like a never-ending cycle that needs to be completed, and you're wondering, should you complete this cycle or should you keep trying? That's what you're wondering because, like I said, you feel like there's just a lot of obstacles in your way. You feel like it's been a lot of setbacks and disappointments with this person. Why are you stressed? Why is Pisces stressed? Yeah, the tower. Look, it's like all this change that you were trying to avoid, it came tumbling down anyways. And this definitely has stressed you out, okay? With this King of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? Definitely just in your distorted thinking, okay? Um, you feel like someone's being secretive. Clarify this Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is she here? Yeah, you feel like someone's being secretive, 
okay? And like I said, this Queen of Cups is holding you back, okay? This Queen of Cups in reverse is holding you back. Yes, from your Ten of Cups, okay? From your emotional fulfillment, okay? Um, wow, it's a long reading for you, Pisces. Let's get into your love portion of the reading. Sorry, this energy is so weird today, you guys. I feel like there's a little bit of a block up for y'all. Like I said, I feel like like there was a lot of queens, okay? That was very that was a lot of people, a lot of energy. I just feel like it's I feel like it's you Pisces, but you're just wondering like where do you fit into this person's life? That's what I feel like you're wondering. Let's see what we have for your love reading. What do we have for Pisces? Express your love. You need to tell this person how you feel. Okay, it is. It's time for you to tell this person how you feel. Okay, look, calling in your soulmate. You do. You are very attracted to this person. You feel like this person is your soulmate. But like I said, you feel like he's not expressing his love to you. You feel like you're the one that's always doing all the giving. You're the one that feels like you're doing all the expressing and you're not getting anything back. Yeah, you feel like this is just a lot of codependency and this relationship. Okay, let's see. Let's get from the whispers of love. What do we have for Pisces with a love reading? What do we have for Pisces and their love reading? Yeah, honesty is essential. Yep, look, you need to speak with truth. Okay, you need to tell this person the truth. Okay, again, express your love. Tell this person the truth. Tell them how you truly feel. Tell them what you're confused about. Okay, because when we love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance on love. Okay, Pisces, practice compassion. You need to see things from a fresh perspective. Okay, you need to have compassion right now. You are needing to have compassion. See things from somebody else's point of view, like what somebody else could be going through. See what they've been conditioned to believe. What have they gone through as a child? What do we have for Pisces? freedom there is nothing stopping you you want freedom you do you do want some kind of freedom but i feel like you could be in some kind of like relationship with a soulmate and you feel like it's like binding you down you feel like you're bound down to the soulmate connection but you do you want freedom what do we have for pisces cleanup time okay you could be cleaning up you're definitely thinking about what needs to go, what needs to stay. You could be cleaning up the house, literally. Okay, you have some kind of ancient wisdom. You're getting some kind of ancient wisdom right now from your ancestors that are guiding you on what to do next, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Indecision. Yep, there's that indecision. Yep, you're wondering, should you stay on this journey or not? That's what you're wondering. Wow, you could be wondering if you're on a twin flame journey. You could be wondering if this person is your twin flame, if you're on the twin flame journey. Wow. Let's get a wisdom of the oracle for you. Oh, let's get one of these, actually. What do we have for Pisces? Guardian. Something is seeming very familiar. I feel like you could be dealing with some kind of air energy. You're using your imagination. It's like you're thinking about something. Something is feeling very familiar to you. You're getting some kind of ancient wisdom and something that you're getting, some kind of signs that you're getting. It just all feels way too familiar. It seems like you know about this. It's like you're hearing about something, possibly like a twin flame journey, and you're wondering, like, is that what I'm on? Because this sounds very familiar. Like, maybe you just feel like you've done this before. Wow. Let's get you a wisdom of the oracle and then we'll close out your reading, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? What wisdom do you have for Pisces for the month of August? What wisdom do you have for Pisces for the month of August, Spirit? What wisdom do you have for Pisces? What wisdom do we have for Pisces, Spirit, for the month of August? What wisdom do you have for Pisces for the month of August? You're very particular today. Treasure Island. You've opened up. You, I'm telling you, you have gone down some rabbit hole. You have opened up Pandora's box. Whatever you've been wondering about, whatever been seeming very familiar, you've been looking into it. And now you've opened up something. Yeah, and there's no going back because you have a deep knowing about something okay you do you have a very deep knowing about something wow it went straight to the page you're using law of attraction right now and it's helping you to bring your dreams into fruition 
okay this is this is all about manifesting you're manifesting something okay your relationship is a treasure providing even more than you need but you may not see that right now no matter how long you've been together you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself now is the time of discovery it's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again romance blooms and love is in the air you can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons so keep your heart open the message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you because like i said you have a deep knowing i feel like you're really using your intuition right now pisces okay um listening to yourself um it's like i'm telling you it's just like there are occasions in your life when you just know you know, deep in your heart and soul, this is just, you know that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. You feel like there was definitely a reason this person is in your life. You know what role you feel like they're playing. It's like, you feel like this person just crossed your path and then like out of the blue, it's like you connected with this person at a level that was like impossible to describe, okay? And that feeling marked a moment that has been etched onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. So remember, I told you, you've been wondering about this whole twin flame thing. Yeah, it's saying that your intuition is correct. So let's get you an angel answer. Go ahead and ask whatever question you want to right now, Pis Pisces. Go ahead, uh, ask whatever question you want and we'll get you an angel answer. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, give the video a like, comment down below if you want. And uh, yeah, if you wanna hit me over on Wizio, I'm giving 10% off right now. Okay, you can use Moonlust 10 at Wizio right now and get a reading within 24 hours. All right, so for Pisces, whatever question you have right now, what is the answer for whatever question Pisces has right now, Spirit? What is the answer? The situation will improve, okay? Whatever you're asking about, just remain positive. You feel like nothing's changed, it's okay. The situation is going to improve. Please remain positive because there is going to be a peaceful resolution to whatever you're going through. All right, Pisces, I really hope you enjoyed your reading. Like I said, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.